Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time I had started to climb the uh, Mountain of Woe and we made it to the tippity top. And I also got uh, Frog here to learn uh, Cure 2, which will really help out, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to give the time hat we just got to Luca. Why not, you know? Stops stop and slow, so that's nice. Well, I'm trying to think of any enemies that really take advantage of that, but I don't really know any. So let's make our way to the top here. Oh man, it's the F spur! Don't go near it, Terra! Ah, tis where the guru of life remained in prison. Chrono, look! See, I like, I like uh, Ayla. She keeps it short and sweet and to the point. And what the hell is that thing? Sephiroth! I love this guy's face after he's done attacking because he just looks so derpy. He looks all- he comes in all badass. He's like, I've got the power! Double hand blaster fire! It does a crap ton of HP. He's like, duh! I gotta move off. Alright, now we're gonna wanna use... Volt Bite on this hand? I think so. I know one of his hands heals him. I think it's the left hand. Or his... the, the one on the right. His left hand, my right hand. Yeah. He deals with him for about 250, so he can't really do anything until we charm his head. And you are gonna heal us, because I don't want to die. I'll use a mid tonic on a frog, because I don't want him to die. So he seems to be taking the most damage. And for doing that to him, we get a uh, speed tab. Isn't that awesome? It's totally worth almost dying for. Don't worry, frog. I got you. All right. So next, we're gonna want to go with another uh, volt bite. We want to keep frog on healing duties for most of these fights. Especially since this guy seems to be a derp and just wants to keep hitting us with his hardest hitting moves. Hopefully this gets rid of that arm. Yes it does. Now I believe you just want to get rid of one arm. Uh, if I remember correctly. Just the one that heals him, that way he can't use those double attacks or whatever, and then just volt bite his head. Yeah, because then that's his strongest move. Bam! It does a lot of damage. It dishes out the damage, so to speak. Heal up here. I'm probably going to cast a uh, Cure 2 on him in a minute. Oh, please don't kill me. That just looked like it did a lot of damage. But it really didn't, sadly enough. So yeah, you can really dish out a ton of damage with the Volt Bite. And if you're looking for an easy way to get through this hard-ass... This is like probably the hardest boss fight I can think of in the game next to uh, the last boss. No! Get it before he does it! And you just, you just keep healing, Frog, and you will never speak of this again. So once his arm comes back, just follow through and kill that arm. That's why I did so much. It cuts your HP in half. Kind of reminds me of Rayman, honestly. Let's give him a good old cure, too. I'm the Chrono Meister. Remind me never to call him that again. The Chrono Meister. 
uh, also, once you bring back the arms, uh, they're not at full health. I think they're at, like, half health. So you don't have to... You won't have to do as much damage to break them, basically. Yeah, this is one of the very... This is one of the many boss battles in Chrono Trigger where you have to, uh... You have to actually think about what you're gonna do. That's why I like this game so much, is because you, you really have to, like, kind of just... Think about how you're gonna go about these boss fights, because these are hard boss fights. Gaia Magnate Fire! It would be a lot more threatening if he didn't look so derpy. <laughs> I love how he comes out and he's just like all badass. They do that with a lot of boss fights. It's just like these most like ripped, powerful bosses. And they're like, I will destroy you with the end of days. Dude! <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Please don't do that. I don't I don't like any of this to happen. I'd much prefer it if uh this happened. Let's use cure two on uh Ayla. Whisper it to myself. I use cure two on Ayla. Nobody shall know of Frog and Ayla's secret love. No, Frog's gonna get with the princess. I'll just wait for him to bring back that arm so I can destroy it real quick. No, you can use... Heal. Please don't destroy that arm. Really don't want to have to deal with that backlash. <laughs> my arm's back. My right arm's a lot stronger than my left arm. I think I already said that. I do that. Trindamir from League of Legends. What a horrible taunt. <laughs> Alright, let's use Cure 2 on Chrono, and then go for the, uh... I really hope he doesn't destroy that arm. That's what it looks like it's gonna happen. Alright, there we go. Volt Bite. Might be, it, this might seem like a slow boss fight, and that's because most of the boss fights last a pretty good amount of time. But uh, yeah, I'll just attack his head, I don't care. We're getting close to the end here. Stop attacking his arm. I just keep dishing out the, uh, the Volt Bites. Like they're going on a style. I destroyed your face. And a winner is us. Victory! 3,000! <laughs> Frog level up, Ayla level up. Level up's all around. High five, everybody. Hats on the back. If you just beat this part, pat yourself on the back, because that was a hard boss fight. You go get yourself, like, a butterscotch or something. A candies or something. Old man Melchior? <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you pesky kids. Ocean Palace. Hmm. The more energy the Mammon Machine absorbs, the further the Queen degrades. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous immortal Lavas. We must flee! The mountain of war is about to crumble. Oh, Mommy, the mountain's gonna fall. Maybe we should stand by the base of the impact. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Meanwhile, in the perfectly intact layer of the earthbound ones, Lavo sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of the planet. If the mammoth machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. He's got quite the punch on him, Melchior. Must hurry before it's too late. Elder Shala is here. What Shala is here? I really like this music right here. Miss Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Hmm. What a filthy hovel. Belchior, after the Mountain of Wolfell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? Oh, pff. wrong voice entirely. That's awesome. Then all is lost. But without me, the Mammon Machine won't work. I've turned my back on that evil device. I've kept the skyway open. Hurry, we must stop my mother. Or it was like, we must stop my mother. Hold it right there. Dalton! Tisk tisk, my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere. Dalton, leave her alone. Ha ha ha. The geezer speaks. Silence, old man. You'll come to the ocean palace with me. Do anything funny and... And I didn't read that fast. The queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala, dear? Your mother awaits. That's one hell of a flashy way to make an exit. He took my party members with him. Oh, wait. No, they're there. Old man, are you okay? Old man, okay. <laughs> hmm. How are we going to do that? No. We will take her down. What are you talking about? It's made from the same redstone as the mammoth machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. We get the ruby dagger. Or ruby knife, sorry. I don't think you could equip that. No. It's unfortunate. Oh well. Well anyway, since we got that all done, let's continue on, shall we? Now in order to do what we need to do, we have to go talk to this guy and buy stuff. <laughs> you don't have to do this part, I just like to buy stuff. We can buy the Megaton arm, which is weaker than what we have. Actually, I pretty much have everything I need. I do want to buy more shelters. I like to keep it at least five. Others, I'm alright. Actually, I do need revives. Since, for whatever reason, we have none. I like how revives are actually pretty cheap in this game. In other games, are usually, like, the most expensive item in the game. I think, I think in Final Fantasy, most of the Phoenix Downs are, like, 500 gold. At least that's how much they are in, uh... 9, I believe. I'm not sure about 10. I haven't played 10 in a while. Alright, so where did we want to go? Back up to the palace. The palace. She said she opened the skyway for us. Which it appears that she did, so let's head on out that way. So she said something about destroying the mammon machine, which means we have to go to the palace. Now this, this upcoming area is like my least favorite part of the game, so I'm sorry if my enthusiasm kind of drears on here, but I hate this next part with a fiery passion. This is like the only part of this game that I hate. Not even so much the Ocean Palace, which we will be getting to, it's the area right before the Ocean Palace that I hate. No! I also hate doing that. That's never any fun.
I suppose I could have just cut this part out, but you know what? I'm feeling lazy today, so you get to watch the whole thing. Isn't that fantastic? I still think this area is really cool. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> if, this was a, if this was a module in Dungeons and Dragons, if they, they like the excellent module, I, I would play it all the time. I, I apologize to any of my fans who are Dungeons and Dragons fans as well. Which makes this the center of the universe. Eh, whatever you want, man. Who's this guy? Huh. The sun keep. True. So we want to go destroy the mammon machine. In order to do so, we need to head this away. Although it's not here. Where'd it go? Yeah. Move? Move where? I think they already moved it to the Ocean Palace? Huh. Well, how do we get down there? Hey, we already heard that spiel. Alright, well, it looks like that's all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Join us back here next time when we find out where the hell the lava or the mammoth machine went. Anyway, this has been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.